guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we are reviewing some of the brand new Godzilla King of the Monsters figurines from Jack Specific. This video is going to be split into two parts since I bought two figurines at the same time. In part one, which is this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah battle pack, while in the next video, I'll review the 6-inch King Ghidorah figure. Right off the bat, the packaging is awesome. I really like this new design. So we've got Godzilla right here, the Monarch logo and whatnot, and the Jack Specific logo. There are a few texts on the box that say, bring the battle to life or create your own scene and whatnot, again. I also like how it's a closed box so you can see the figures but other people can't destroy them like little kids or something. But here's the back of the box. It's pretty cool, it's simple. It says, bring the battle to life again, create your own scene. And there's also a text if you'd like to read that. And there's also a display of Godzilla and King Ghidorah fighting. There's also a few tags on the bottom right corner. It says 65 years, Godzilla, legendary. And there's also a background image of Godzilla, which looks very, very cool. And on the side of the box, you get some recommendations for some of the other figures. Chances are I'll be buying all of them. So overall, an appealing box. So now without further ado, let's take the figures out. So everything displayed in front of you is what you're gonna buy. It's Godzilla, King Ghidorah, and a cardboard background, which is a little bit odd. It's pretty detailed. I think it's a Boston football stadium of sorts. It's, it's a good picture, but I don't understand why it's cardboard. It should, should have been plastic, but it does have a stand, so you could stand it up and like the figures could battle in front of it or something. But overall, it's okay. I could have done without it. Moving on to the new Godzilla figure, it actually doesn't look too shabby at all. My favorite new feature is the dorsal plates, the new set of dorsal plates. It's a lot bigger and more noticeable than 2014's, the 2014 Godzilla plates. I don't know, they're just, they seem too small and they're not really that noticeable while the 2019 plates are much bigger and they look like the plates from the 1954 movie. My one complaint about this figure is the head looks a tad bit cheap. The paint is a tad bit sloppy and there's a bizarre looking plastic membrane in his mouth. But I don't even know why I'm complaining. It's because this came from a $9 set. So, yeah. Now, I know you're probably thinking it doesn't have all that much articulation. I mean, the head, the arms, the legs, and the tail. But you see... It can actually be broken off very easy, and when it's reattached, you can bend it to look like there's more articulation points. Let's see, I can kind of bend the head right here, so it looks like it can tilt in ways that it usually wouldn't be able to. So if you don't mind big seam lines on the figure, um, you can actually put it in some pretty realistic looking poses. Wow, the 2014 Godzilla, if you even try and do anything with that, it'll just fall over. So the new design of Godzilla is looking very cool. His chest is much wider and more muscular. He's got bigger toes on his feet, it's kind of odd, but um, he's also got a much longer tail and overall a much better improvement than 2014. Now finally, let's take a look at King Ghid What? Now let's take a look at King Ghidorah, what? Urgh. Unfortunately, he's almost impossible to stand unless you get it just right, he'll finally be able to stand. But looking at the figure itself, it looks amazing to me. I love the golden sort of color. I mean, it kind of looks like mustard. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait a minute. My dad's opening a pack of cookies. I like how the wings kind of resemble that of a bat's wings. That's pretty cool. And the body looks good and the heads are each individually detailed and they look awesome. The articulation on this figure is simple. The wings flap at like a 90 degrees and then all of the heads can rotate and they can also kind of tilt to the side, giving it a realistic high range of movement. Moving to the back, we have the two tails, they can rotate. 
Not that far, because then they collide with each other, but overall, the articulation is good. The reason King Ghidorah's review was so brief, it's because I'm going to go into more details once I review the bigger 6-inch King Ghidorah, since it's basically the same exact mold except bigger. So that wraps up part one of this two-part review. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Godzilla King of the Monsters reviews, as well as Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom reviews.